Okay, where's our turn off? Why am I asking you guys? So it's kind of a rough road out here. It's not real steep. It's pretty rocky. And there's been a lot of water going down the road, which is taking all the fines out. Good morning, YouTube mine lovers. Good morning. Tom and Julie here. We're at a pretty large mine site. As you can see behind Julie here, there are a couple of big ore bins, it looks like. I see some mill tailings over there behind that big whatever it is in the middle there that looks like it's ruined. There's a piece of equipment there. There's a little cabin here. Another little cabin there. Bunch of junk in the wash. We got a lot of ground to cover today, so we better get going. Let's start by looking at these little cabins and we'll work our way over to those ore bins and the mill area. And then up the hill, I see some waste piles. Well, maybe we'll work our way up there. Okay, let's go check out the cabin. Not terrible. No, pretty nice. Looks usable. There's a barrel stove here. The table. It's got well ventilated walls. <laughs> Look at the window. Yeah, some shuttered windows. Mm. Still in pretty good shape. And a little shelving in it there. This is out behind the cabin. Looks like at least one refrigerator, maybe two. Probably a stove down there. Some barrels. A truck axle. A stake side fence for a bed. Truck bed. Let's go look at this other cabin. Here's this other structure. It looks like this might have been the bathhouse. Because there are two sinks here and probably a shower and a toilet something like that interesting pretty good shape still actually this was sheet rocked at one time behind that little bathhouse is a loading zone it looks like loading dock could have driven your truck right down below here. All kinds of rail and stuff laying around. Let's go look at this contraption in the middle of the road, see what that is. A lot of cans right here. I have not seen one of these before. There was a big uh, shaft right here where those bearings are and a gear up there the bottom of it looked like it would have moved up and down maybe to help classify stuff and then here's a big drive shaft with a gear and a big multiple belt pulley on it I'm not exactly sure what that was. This appears to be the mill site. This is below the bigger ore bins up there. There are some tailings here. I'm guessing that uh, this big tank right here was sitting right where these this round pile of tailings is and this device here was standing up straight it's laying on its side now 
but that was standing up and obviously had something that spins on it it's got the big gear up there maybe spraying chemicals into this tank somehow the leech operation This is the, this looks like it's a big tank. It's all twisted up now. Amazing what the wind and the weather can do, isn't it? You can see where the tailings have run down that way too. Here's the output trough for the scupper. This is a little higher up. There are some tiers here. There's some long troughs here too, these steel troughs. I'm not going to pretend like I know what exactly what was happening here because I don't. There's so many different ways that mills were set up over the years. And I'm not an expert. But I'll show you what I'm seeing anyway, which is all I'm really trying to do. Let's go a little higher up. I'm assuming there was some kind of a mill here, the actual crushing mill, jaw crusher, ball mill, things like that, mounted on some of these mounts. Well, here I am another level higher. Looks like there was a conveyor belt on those rollers. There's the old stairway. That was for a rubber conveyor belt, those rollers there. More equipment mounts. This is the upper ore bin. Kind of a small mouth on it, all steel. They must have had something crushing it before they got it in here. Oh yeah, look, at there's a grizzly up on top. I can see the track sticking out. That was a grizzly. This is on top of the other upper ore bin. Grizzlies both on the top and below too. And there's a big water tank. And then there are some workings up there. We'll make our way up there shortly. This is a little higher up. It's a big sight. And look at the view across Death Valley. Wow, huh? Unbelievable. It appears as though there was a ground tram from that working that's on top of this 
waste rock pile ahead of us right here you can see the dead men there and it looks like it's kind of washed out now but it would have gone right down to the top of that orb and above the mill well there's a nice little rear dumping ore car tailgate's missing it's a nice one though Here's a pretty good sized chuckwalla. See him? He's doing the push ups. I'm not going to hurt you, buddy. Well, there's an upside down tank for water or air. I'm standing on top of the waste truck pile overlooking the whole site. It's a uh, good sized pile here so there should be a nice working behind me. Looked like it was open. Julie's over there looking at a little barrel with uh, some kind of a bushing on it. Must have spun for something. That ore car is right down there. And then the rest of the site obviously down there. All right, let's go explore this mine. See what we have. I believe it was a gold mine. There's some stuff right here. What's all that? Mason jar. Cans of something. Is that a uh, primer? I don't know. Can't see. Doesn't see anything. Doesn't. I, I, no. Doesn't. Not that I can see. We're in. Looks like there was track in here been removed. Oh, it's pretty low, isn't it? Yeah. These were short miners. Okay. Looks like it's pretty straight to start with. Very small. Both in width and height. A little gobbling wall. It looks like we're coming up to an intersection. I see it curving to the right up ahead of Julie there. And it also goes straight. And there's also something going to the left here. This might just be a little storage. Oh, there's the tailgate for the ore car. That's pretty cool. It's still there. You want to go right? Yeah. Oh, there's a ladder too. Yeah, it's a big chute. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on up in there. All right, let's go to the right a little bit. Here's a chute right here. Wood looks brand new. There have been some fires in here. I'm not sure if somebody torched the mine or looks like it's more than what it would have been for bats, doesn't it? Wonder what was here. Well, there's lots of reasons for mine fires. Sometimes it's arson, sometimes it's accidental, sometimes it's for bats.
There's a crosscut to the right. This is the end? Yeah. Oh. This the end's right here. You can see the pick marks on the wall there, on the face. After all these years. Okay, that's the face we just came from. We backtracked just a few feet and it goes this way. Looks like it goes a little ways. I thought maybe it was just a short cross cut. I don't see a vein that they're following, but... Apparently there was. What is that? It's a butter crust bread, San Bernardino Bread Company. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's neat. And the end's just right over here. Okay. Butter crust. San Bernardino Bread Company. Got a little bit of graffiti. Oh, there's an old pack of camels. Sometimes those stamps would have a date on them, but you can never read them anymore. Okay, we're back to here. Back to the fire. You can see the soot on the back of the mine. I don't know what was here. That would have burned. Something. Do you want to take a ride up here? Yeah. This is where that little ladder was. Is that even big enough to get through? Okay, I just climbed past that little ladder. Looks like it goes just a little further. Oh no, it keeps going. I better get Tom. Oh yeah. There's a little arch here. I don't really see the vein. There was some quartz outside on the waste pump. But I don't... I'm not really seeing the vein that they're following. There's a hanging wall here. Julie's on to something. Burlap sack. There's a corn sugar. Corn what? Sugar? Yeah. Way packed king corn sugar? Yeah. 100 pound net. Looks like this is the face. Well, that's several hundred feet long. Here's the surveyor's mark. 
a little circle in the middle of the face. And I can't quite read that. Here we are back to the corn sugar bag. No, the king corn sugar bag. I've never heard of king corn sugar. Here we are back to this spot. You want to go up this ladder? Okay. Looks like this was a little skip ladder. Bones are a little funny. That's back down the little ladder I just came up. There's a metal line shoot up here. And it keeps going up a fair ways, but it's too small for me to get through there. But one thing I wanted to show, there's a grizzly here that's kind of interesting. You see that? It's held in place with a chain. And made out of railroad track. So, I don't know where the origin of this chute is, but it's it's too tight to find it from this direction. Looks like it's used some old water tank material for this lining. This track looks like a piece of kick switch. The way it's tapered on the end like that. And then there's a piece of fuse hanging on this ladder. So got gunpowder in it. Can of nails. Alright, I think we have a right here somewhere. Yeah, at this gate. There's the ore car tailgate. Let's see where this goes. Or is this just a little storage? A lot of track jammed up in here, old bent up track. Looks like a piece of tarp or blanket or something in the Stoked area. Another intersection. Okay. That goes left. Oh, it goes quite a ways that way. Let's go straight first. Thing kind of goes all over the place. Julie said the face is just ahead of her. She'll take a picture of it or a video. It ends just right here, just crawled through this little area right here. Okay, we just came back from that way and now we're taking a left. Kind of an odd uh, working, it kind of goes in all different directions and not an obvious vein anywhere. But I'm sure there is, they know what they wanted to follow.
there's not much timber supports even though the material country rock looks very fractured so straight ahead it hits the face what's this thing well, it's an old shirt has that got a label on it that you can read so this is compass work shirt J.C. Penney Company. Interesting. Lots 32. Okay, let's go this way for a little ways. There's a band of red, soft stuff. Yeah, more rusty colored stuff here. Looks like some gobbing. Apparently that's it. Okay, here we are back to the main line. This should be where the tailgate is. It's nice little lower car out there. It's nice to know that there's tailgate sitting here. And there's the portal straight ahead. So that was an interesting working. Let's go see what else we can find around here. There's the Union Carbide cover. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's on there. Well, we're a notch higher yet. That waste pile behind Julie is the one we just came out of. We're up to a road, and I think we're gonna go up this way. I see a big pipe or a board coming across the road. Let's go see what that is. Well, this like the pipe is just sitting here. It's open on the top end, and it ends right here on the lower end. So we're gonna go back this way and see where the road goes. Well, we're higher yet. Look at the road they got cut in here, it's crazy. And then look at, I see a mega arch coming up over here on the right. Wow. There's a long length of cable wrapped around an old barrel down there. Some of it is anyway, the rest of it's all tangled up over here. And then there's this, huge openings. This almost looks like a strip mine here, doesn't it? Yeah, I think they stripped this out. Look at this huge arch. That's crazy. Two arches. Wow, that's big. Hmm. Two massive arches. Wonder how long that's going to stand without breaking. All right, let's check out this drift. Takes a left. Comes up to some timbering. Oh, 
the tracks though. And there's a big curved piece of lumber. What would that be used for? Huh. And it looks like it ends here at a big set of timbers. Uh, is this caved or is this is this the face? I, I don't know. I think it's the face. Hmm. Interesting. A bunch of big timbers here. Mm -hmm. So there's that tank up there. There's this other tank over here. And these are these big arches that we saw earlier. There's a big control lever of some sort. Looks like it would clamp onto a shaft. And I don't know what it was for up here, but I don't think it says anything on it. Oh yeah, it does say something. It just has a part number. 5781 or 5761. Who knows? More stuff. There's Miss Mine Explorer. Hi. I guess we're going further up the road. Julie says there's something cool up here. We gotta see it. She won't tell me what it is. She's the navigator in case you didn't know that by now. Here's an antique grease swab can sitting on the side of the road. Here's another little area that's got some track coming out of it. It comes up to a chute. I can't see what it does. Some big ground fall pieces here. Okay, I got over that ground fall. It comes up to a big chute. And then it ends. Similar to that last thing where we were. That's looking up the chute. But then it just comes to an end here. There's a little ladder here. That's it. This is the weirdest area. This is the lower portion of this ground tram. And we were up here. And the upper portion is here. There's Julie way down there. I better go catch up. We're back down at the bottom now. There's a couple of fuel tanks. We're back down to the Jeep. This looks like it was a furnace of some sort. And this looks like an oven. bugger we are down in the junk pit let's go up this way once there's a heavy duty barrel there's a fair part of a vehicle I don't know I see a headlight sticking out Looks like it was blue. What the heck is that? Or 
Or it must be two vehicles, huh? Tom's on to something here. Check this out. What is it? Oh. <laughs> it's a hand pump. Neat. Wow. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that was inside of one of those cars that was down by that, below that blue one a little bit, stuck in there. Hmm. Looks old. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oops. Let me get a picture of that. Look at that jumbled up mess. That looks like a little truck cab, doesn't it? Yeah, what a mess. Here's the front end off of something that had a straight axle. I can't see what it was. Man, what a lot of stuff sitting here. Crazy. Well, with the beautiful black mountains behind you, Julie, let's sign off. Take it away, Julie. Well, we hope you enjoyed the video today. We had a good time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on our next adventure. Typical mine road. Washed out. Rocky. Hard on the body and hard on the Jeep. For miles. <laughs> well, the flowers are starting to come out in Death Valley. Here are a few. And right over there is Telescope Peak. <laughs>